Good morning, this is uh, Cadet Seaman Brooks with Bremerton NJRTC to see in Washington, and uh, today I'll be doing a uh, uh, device video on your NJRTC devices that go on your uniform or on your SDB hat and such, and proper management for those devices. Uh, first, we'll do the simplest, which are um, your name tag. Uh, all devices will have what we call acorns, and all they are are a device where the pin just goes into. Um, now, um, on the service uniform, uh, because there's so much space in between the bottom of the acorn and the bottom of the name tag, you will need um, some type of cardboard. It's called backing that you put. Um, so you put the name tag through the uh, cloth of the shirt, and then you put the backing on. See where I've been putting the backing? And then you put the acorns on. And what that'll do is make it flat on the surface of the uniform, and it'll make it look cleaner, and uh, so it won't be flopping around and prone to bra breaking or bending. Next is your um, J-Bar. Your J-Bar does not need anything behind it because it has very little space. The fiber will mainly take that up. Plus, it's on the collar. Um, your J-Bar is one of the most important parts of the uniform because, I mean, it is very important. It is seen the most. Um, so, uh, what happens is that the light or the sun um, will dull it and make it silver. Uh, instead of gold like it's supposed to be. When it starts turning silver, make sure you get a new one. You can either ask your supply officer or your NS1 or SNS1, depending. Um, and make sure you get a new one. And make sure, it's even if it's scratched, to get a new one. Um, make sure you get the pro appropriate acorns for all your devices. This goes for all your devices. Uh, the acorns were actually sometimes the pin will stab through the back of the acorn. Make sure you get new acorns. It just looks really bad if somebody finds out that you have a broken acorn on one of your uh, devices. Um, next are your ribbons. When you end, earn, end up earning ribbons, it goes by presidents, um, which is most important, or least important to most important at the top. So, um, in uh, on page 128, 1-28 in your food manual, it has um, all your ribbons and the order that it goes in. This is my least important, this is my most important one I have as of right now. Um, same thing apply, make sure that you put backing on your service uniform. Your service dress blues, you don't need um, backing because the jacket's so thick that you don't need backing. Um, your rank. Uh, now, see, this rank was uh, highly unacceptable. It has um, gold-colored acorns with a silver device that's on your collar. Make sure that doesn't happen. That's why on my current device I have silver acorns. Make sure you get the appropriate acorns on your collar. It doesn't really matter with your name tag. Or your ribbons, because my ribbon rack is silver, but they have gold acorns. It's okay with that, because they're not seen. But make sure the stuff that's on your collar has the appropriate acorns on it, like this one and this one do. Make sure you have that. Um, another thing, what's debatable is with your agulet, uh, the, uh, on your service uniform, you can't have a button on it. You can only have that on your service dress blues. So, um, what you have to do is you have to put... The, uh, this, uh, rope at the top, it's like a little piece of string, and what you're going to do is you're going to put it through the bottom of the, uh, fouled anchor, this little part, wait a second, right there at the bottom, this little loop, you're going to put the string, you're going to fold it up, and you're going to put it through the loop, through that loop right there, so like this. So, you want to make sure that uh, it gets all the way through. Okay, so then it looks like this. So, you want it through like that. And then you're going to put the rest of it over the top of the fouled anchor, over the first pin. So, you're going to put it all the way over the first pin. Look. Like this, so you put it all the way over the top of your um, top of the fouled anchor over the first pin. Make sure it's only over the first one. And then, so like this, put it over the top, and then you make sure that the uh, um, next part of your rope is on the bottom of the anchor so like that so that's how you're supposed to wear this and then you put it on your shoulder and there's no regulation for the shoulder so uh, 
you just basically stick it on there and try to get it as close as you want. Usually we go by this part right here. It has to be aligned with the seam of your um, sleeve and your main part of your um, shirt. That seam there, and as long as you have this aligned with that seam, it's pretty good. Or around there, it's um, you won't get docked points because there's no regulation. But um, now people debate on whether putting backing on the uh, fouled anchor for the Aguilette or not. You don't have to. I do. It makes it look cleaner. You don't have to. It's not because, it, I mean, it's not as bad if you don't have it. But, um, uh, yeah, so that's um, your regulation on and all about your uh, Aguilette. And make sure that when this breaks, um, when your little rope breaks, either you get a new one or you can actually sew it back on there. You can get, like, uh, I... Uh, not me, but uh, another uh, freshman cadet had a one of the the rope um, break off of it, and one of the senior cadets sewed it back on for him. So I know it's possible. Um, uh, regulation for the name tag is uh, one fourth an inch on your right side, centered on your right breast pocket. So it's one fourth inch above the pocket. You can find my other videos, see how it exactly looks. But it's also in your cadet field manual on page one twelve for your service uniform. Um, that uh, your ribbons. Uh, they go on both uniforms as well, same with the name tag, but um, this is one-fourth an inch on the left side, centered. Now, the difference between wearing this on your uh, uh, dress blues is that it doesn't have a right pocket, so what you have to do is align it with the bottom of your ribbon rack. When you put your ribbon rack on the, right si on the left side, you have to align the bottom of your name tag with the bottom of your ribbon rack, because there's no pocket on this side. There's a pocket on this side, but not on this side, so you have to align it closer you get the better um, your J bar on your uh, service uniform goes diagonally and it's 1 7 8 inch up which is also on page 112 and centered in the middle of the letters so it's diagonally like this and you can see the other video I have a video on your service uniform that if you want to check it out and see what the exact what it exactly looks like this is also 1 7 8 and it looks like this so it looks on the uniform and it's 1 7 8 to the top of the uh, um, device and it's usually like this and it's parallel with the line of the uh, collar and um, that's it looks really good when you make sure you have the correct requirements um, there's no exact requirement on this this is just your tie clip uh, the only th only tip that I have is that make sure that when it gets dull like I said it gets dull with the sun it doesn't get a lot of sun due to it gets covered up by your jacket um, but um, make sure you get it replaced if it gets scratched up or whatever because when you have ribbons that are either falling apart, like this one is, see it's all falling apart, this one, make sure you're not wearing them. Make sure that they're uh, nice and clean and crisp and they're not falling apart because how you may like to wear more ribbons, it's better if you wear less ribbons than what it is wearing ribbons that are messed up. It makes your unit look bad, it makes the whole NJRTC unit look bad, not only you, but the whole NJRTC program, it just makes it look bad, like we have no... No uh, sense of reason and, you know, discipline to make and be able to know that we need to wear less ribbons if they're messed up. So make sure you also get new ones if they're messed up. Um, your belt buckle. This is brass. You can see how it hasn't shined and it's all dull. Um, this one is not brass. See how it's all shiny and you don't ever have to shine it? I usually use this one for inspections and this one for normal days. I shine it up and use it for normal days. Um, your big felt anchor. Inside the package, like I was talking about, it comes with that little screw on the back. See, it comes with a little screw and that little screw head there. That's how you put that on. Um, regulation for that is as long as it's on the middle of the band here. Because there's a hole already pre-cut into the band, so you just shove it through there. And that's the only regulation on that. Um, keep your old ribbon racks, by the way. You want to make sure you keep all your old ribbon racks. As far as I know, you don't, you're not required to turn, return them, at least in my unit. I don't know about other units, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to. So make sure you be keep that you keep them. So in case something like one of my ribbons were to break, I would have to wear a three ribbon rack and so on. I would have to wear two, you know. Um, if it got down to one, I probably wouldn't wear any at all just because it's not really worth it. Um, so basically on your service uniform as a wrap-up, you need backing on your on your name tag, one fourth inch from the and centered on the left breast pocket. Uh, one fourth an inch with backing and centered on your right breast pocket. You can see my other videos, see how that works. One seven eighth centered on the middle of the letters on the uh, right or left side. 
Um, your rank is one and seventh eight to the top when you're a seaman apprentice. Seaman recruits don't have any or seaman. It goes to the top of the rank one seven eight. Um, up from the uh, collar, tip of the collar. <laughs> Agulet, there's no Pacific regulation. As long as you have it somewhere on the shoulder and you try to get this aligned to the uh, seam of your uh, sleeve and your main part of your shirt the best as you possibly can, it'll be just fine. Um, you can go to the uh, uh, supply officer or your NSI or SNSI and get a button from the supply room or whatever to sew on your... Uh, so it's just a uh, jacket. Um, you have these. These are the little screw bases that you screw the buttons into. Now, on when I first got the hat from the supply room, they had one that was shorter than the other one. And uh, make sure you get that replaced because I did not know that until I took the hat apart. And I found out that it actually had one that was shorter than the other one and it made it lopsided and crooked. So make sure you look at that. Make sure you take the whole thing apart when you first get it and make sure it's all cleaned and whatever inside, not all dirty, and whatever. Um, regulation on the belt buckle, you make sure it's shined. doesn't need to be dull. This one's not brass. When If you end up do getting one like this, make sure you shine it, because I haven't shined it with Brasso. So it's dull. And you don't want to look bad. Uh, regulation for your felt anchor on your hat is two inches from the corner, from right here. It's two inches in. On the two inches is centered on the uh, anchor and it's one and a half inches up and then centered on the anchor so one and a half inches up on the center of the anchor two inches in on the center so that's how that works um, for your uh, dress blues as long as this is centered your goal if you are an officer this is all gold so it wouldn't matter but when you're not an officer you have this little gold dot make sure it's on the um, left side of the hat your rank goes um Parallel, if you're below a chief, for chiefs it has the exact regulation, but if you're below a chief, just make sure that the bottom of your um, rank is parallel with the bottom of your J-bar, because your J-bar goes a half an inch up from the edge of the collar, and is um, horizontal like this, instead of vertical, or um, diagonally like on your service uniform, or your service dress, it's horizontal, so it's aligned with the bottom of your um, insignia, your rank insignia. So, um... That I have went through um, all of the regulations in, de in depth. Uh, there's no regulations on your buttons. Your buttons should be sewn on your jacket, except for the one that uh, for your Agulet, which you go to uh, either some military base or you go to the dry cleaners and you get them. I went to the dry cleaners. She sewed it on. Uh, I think it was an inch up, uh, which is regulation. That's full on full regulation there. That's like requirement there. And it looks really nice with the button. It's a lot easier to put this on, by the way. You don't have to put it through the fouled anchor every time. Um, yeah, that is uh, your uh, devices for your uniforms. As of right now, I have four ribbons. You, uh, I'll do a later video on uh, ribbon requirements, and I'll show you all the ribbons that you can get. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, uh, comment below on a video you'd like to see in depth, something in depth that I'll see if I can work it out. Um, thank you.